Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Beauty on Purpose. My name is Leah Nepp and today I am taking these thrifted items and turning them into absolutely beautiful home decor and I think you're just going to love it. All right, so we are going to start with this beautiful cutting board. Literally, it was like this. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it from far and I rushed to it to grab it. It is beautiful, sturdy, solid wood. And all it needed was just a nice little scrub. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm making sure that it's very, very dry. Although you see in the end, it wasn't that dry, but it, it worked out. It worked out. So just again, gave it a scrub, dry it very well. And then using my Cricut, I designed a decal that says fresh honey and um, some other little details. So I'm just going to apply it right to the center of this cutting board. And you're gonna see here what I'm talking about. Apparently the board was not fully dry because this decal was not sticking. And I've used this decal a lot, or this vinyl, and it was just not sticking. But once it was there, it kind of, you know, stuck, but it just gave me the hardest time. So I'm gonna speed it up here for you because I'm sure you don't wanna see me struggle with that. But just to let you know, things like this happen. You just have to take it very slowly one part at a time and it'll work out so but that's about it for this one because it was already so beautiful and in that beautiful black tone i did not want to mess with it anymore i just wanted to add something really cute and i think it turned out super adorable fresh new look and it's in my kitchen and i love it All right, friends, don't forget that I do have an Instagram account and I'd love to connect with you there. I know you guys, a lot of you already connect with me there. I love to see your pictures and I just post all the time, multiple times a day, uh, clips of videos as well as behind the scenes looks. So check it out. It is in the description box. All right, so for this next DIY, I am going to take this wooden cattle crossing sign that I found at the thrift store. I'm just gonna give it a quick sand with my palm sander and a 220 grit sandpaper, and then give it a really good scrub. The shape and the color of this sign reminded me of beehives, like, you know, the fresh honey that I just did. <laughs> so I decided to keep it in the honey bee theme, and I'm just gonna give it two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk pen in the linen white. And then using my Cricut, I cut out this um, honeycomb design that I am going to place. Now, I contemplated leaving it this color because it has that kind of golden yellowish tone. But then I decided to do something different. I like things very simple and very subtle. So once I weeded it out, I applied it to the um, board or just to the right side of it, a little bit of an angle. Now, I should have done this before I gave it its first coat, but I didn't. I thought about it later. So I, after the first coat, I let it dry and then I applied the vinyl. And then I did two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint on top of that. So I did cut the excess that is kind of like overflowing from the edges using an X-Acto knife. So you might be thinking, you know, why paint it? But I just, you know, I like the things that are simple and subtle. So by distressing it now using my sanding block, I'm going to pull out not just the yellow from the sign that was already there, which I thought was very appropriate for the actual theme of the sign, but also the vinyl. So I'm going very, very softly because I do not want to pull too much. Now, the camera here 
it does not does it it does not do it justice let me tell you you can really see that honeycomb bee kind of theme you really see the texture it's just with the camera and the and the view the angle you just can't see it but it's there but using my Cricut I also cut the uh, phrase that says welcome to our hive as well as another small little bee that I'm going to place right over the honeycomb and that's it for this one I contemplated using a rope to hang it but I just added two claw hooks on the back that way it could be hung and I just think it turned out so beautiful so fresh looking and you know the board already had that like hexagon um is it a hexagon <laughs> I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. It looks like a honeycomb. And I just think it just looks super cute with this. And again, you really can't see the texture of the decal on the right side. But it's there, guys. And I think it turned out so beautiful. All right, friends, don't forget also that this month, the giveaway is a fabric cutting mat with the rotary cutter. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is watch and comment. Any comments made in February 2021 will be entered for the giveaway. All right, this next DIY, I am going to take these three wooden carved balls that I think just absolutely beautiful. Now, it has some sort of glaze or stain over it that you, it was just not pretty. So I'm going to give it two coats. Actually, it was more about two and a half coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white, but it's more of a dry brushing. So it's very light paint because I want to leave some of the edges and the nooks and crannies from all the details to remain dark. And once it was dry, I'm going to take my sanding block once again and just start distressing it. Now, I know distressed look is not for everyone, and I understand that, but it's just my preferred style, my preferred look, and so that's why I'm distressing it. And I think it pulls out a lot of those details, and it just looks so beautiful. But once I'm done distressing, guys, that's it for these. Another easy flip. I really love the way they turned out, and they're actually on my fireplace mantle as we speak, and I love them. All right, my friends, and also don't forget that every month I'm going to be sending out monthly printables completely free. So if you have not joined our email list, I encourage you to do so. It is down in the description box. All right, guys, so for this next DIY is actually one of my favorites from today. And it's this bunny. This bunny is made out of wood and you can tell it was handmade, but it has seen better days. So I'm just going to remove the arms the bow that it has on there and anything that's on top of it and we're going to give it a fresh look after everything was removed i am now sanding it very lightly with a 220 grit sandpaper just to smooth things out and give it a fresh um kind of softer feel and then give it one heavy coat of rust-oleum chalk paint and the linen white and again, I'm not looking for perfection. I wanted to have a little bit of a bare areas just to kind of give it that distressed farmhouse look. The little flower pot that was actually in front of the bunny, I, I removed it and I'm just clipping off here the nails that were just still on it. And then I'm going to give it another quick sand and a two coats of with the rustoleum milk paint not the chalk paint in the highland blue which is absolutely stunning guys if you do not um i love rustoleum i don't this is not a sponsor video but truly it is such a good quality paint they have chalk paint of course you know about their spray paint 
they also have milk paint and just beautiful colors so check them out so once that was dry i am now going to attach it to the right side of the bunny towards the bottom almost like the flower pot is laying on the floor or not laying but you know on the floor next to the bunny and i'm going to secure it with wood glue and a couple of brad nails now moving on to the tail so before originally the bunny was facing forward but this bunny i want him to be facing backwards two reasons one i think is they just look adorable with their little bunny tails in the front and also i am i'm not a good uh, like face drawer so i wanted to avoid drawing a face eyes and nose so we're just gonna go with the back side here so i'm just gonna take a piece of a uh, towel from the dollar tree and some pillow stuffing from walmart and i'm just gonna start hot gluing it I'm just trying to shape it as a ball and then attach the ball onto the back side of the bunny. I am now going to take some of these colorful florals from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start stapling branch by branch onto the flower pot just on the top side where the flowers would be. And now I am going to take this Dollar Tree scarf and wrap it around the neck of the bunny. Originally, I did the bow towards the right side, which is right above the flowers. But later on, I did change it to the left because I just thought that right side was a little bit too heavy with the flower arrangement there. And then I'm just going to hot glue some um, Spanish moss right onto the bottom of the flowers that way you don't see the staples and it'll just look a lot more nicer and that's it guys this one turned out so adorable i'm gonna keep this one as well oh gosh i think i'm gonna keep all of these normally i sell my my things but i think i'm gonna keep all of these i really love the way they turned out but let me know in the comments which one is your favorite i want to say this one is my favorite just because i just think it looks so stinking cute but all of them really truly are my favorite if you're visiting for the first time, thank you so much for coming by. I hope you consider subscribing and joining our YouTube family. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I'm going to have a playlist here with tons more of inspiration for you. Check it out. As always, guys, have a blessed day and I'll see you later. Bye.